It's easy to forget the power of a simple conversation, but at York City Football Foundation, they're using a simple chat over a cup of to help combat loneliness and isolation. See behind us today is one that we started about two and a half years ago. Uh, we were approached by the Sporting Memory Network, um, wanting to get more involved in using the power of, of sport and the vehicle of our brand um, to be able to um, use sport to as a reminiscence project to actually look at uh, social isolation, getting people out of the house, coming together, um, particularly on the Friday morning group that we run. A lot of them are York City fans, so we get the fan base coming down. Being alone doesn't just affect the older population. The group aimed to be inclusive of any anyone who may need support. So anybody that feels that they want to get out the house. Um, and we do encourage people, as I say, it's not just about New York City, it's not just about football, it's about sport in general. So we talk everything from cricket to actually music, um, to racing, um, you know, the horses, you name it. Um, so, and, and that discussion, you know, it, it's just general, uh, good feeling. You know, we've got some lovely groups that and, and people that attend um, and thoroughly enjoy it and then feel that they are more Part, more involved in, in our football club. And how can people begin to find themselves becoming isolated? Like a lot of people, um, that's six, seven years ago now, uh, you sort of look at what you're going to do um, and you, you tend not to know what, what, where to go or what to do. You sort of look at things and I, I looked at a charity shop and I thought no. And then I started playing walking football because uh, my, my passion is football. And from that, that was run by the council at the time, the lady who ran that became uh, an employee for Sporting Memories and she got me involved in the Sporting Memories, so through, through a contact. But what it does for me, it, it gets me out. I play walking football on a Monday and sometimes on a Friday. I do this on a Friday. Um, we have another session at Wigington uh, on a Monday. Uh, so it gets you out, it gets you, you know, social. It's, it's tripping. But why is sport such a good way of getting people together? things with sport, um, not everybody's sporty in terms of wanting to participate and this is a way of actually being able to use sport that's actually not being physically active whilst there are times that we will get some of the sort of, uh, sessions out, we sometimes play boccia, um, we sometimes do darts and bits and pieces. These sessions are about chatting and about engaging, um, so it's not about physical activity. So it's another way of using sport to actually engage, address isolation, address perhaps mental health issues, um, build those friendships, build those relationships. So it's really important to see that that's a, a different aspect of sport. Reminiscing about the past as well as talking about the present, this coffee morning seems to be well on the way to bringing the community together. York Atkinson, that's TV.